Well, obviously, you guys saw the same thing I did. Uh, very, very, very poor showing by us in the first half. Uh, that got us down. Got lucky, actually, to get to three before halftime. Um, got down 21 to nothing. Uh, I was proud of our fight, and our, especially, you know, our defense in the second half didn't give up any. We just gave the three touchdowns up in the first half. Coach Freeze and his players, we knew they were a good team coming in because uh, they were 7-1 and one and, and had played Wake Forest basically the, the same way we played tonight. On a, a game got decided on a two-point conversion. Um, so I want to congratulate them. They played a heck of a game. We just got to figure out a way to play two halves. We came out extremely slow and uh, could not run the football. And uh, their twist game was – we had 14 negative yardage plays, whether it be sacks. We had four of those, and we had 10, 10 negative yardage runs, which we worked on it all week. But uh, for whatever reason, we were having a hard time snapping the ball and have a hard time blocking them. Uh, I'm proud of our kids coming back and, and uh, having an opportunity to tie the game there at the end. But we've got to get them ready. Um, and we've got to play better uh, for four quarters and instead of just one. And that's basically what we played tonight on offense, two on defense. You touched on it there a little bit. But 14 TFLs by them. What would you attribute that to? Uh, we, we weren't um, – you know, we knew what they were doing. They had the same similar game plan against Wake Forest. Uh, basically, they were twisting away from the back. Um, they were trying to take our stretch play away from us, which um, we anticipated coming into the game and had blocked it up, obviously, a lot better in practice than we did tonight. Uh, but it wasn't some new scheme that we didn't know they had. Uh, they were twisting inside two and twisting the, the, the two away from the back and blitzing that side as well. Uh, we just didn't play very well. And um, uh, getting kids motivated and things in the first half, that's that's up to the head coach. And we, uh, we, we didn't play inspired football in the first half. Y'all did eventually get a little bit going on the ground game late first quarter and the second quarter. Was there any adjustments y'all made to get that going? Well, we were flipping the back a little bit. We hopped the back a little bit, and we went to some gap schemes. Uh, uh, they were a little bit feast or famine, to be perfectly honest with you. They were they were running high right at KJ, making us hand the football off. Uh, we weren't throwing the ball very good. Uh, so that really wasn't an option. It was more run, run, than run to pass. And, and uh they were running high on him and had another guy outside. And basically what we need to do is cut the, the movement, the twists off away from that. And we, we couldn't do it. And uh, we were cutting them free at times as well. KJ didn't really look like himself. Is that just a product of him being banged up or what do you attribute that to? He was banged up. He was banged up this week. Uh, he did practice every day. He didn't throw a whole lot this week, but um he did he did practice and uh, uh yeah i think he i think he's sore and then you know we already talked about the tackles for loss but just an uncharacteristic performance for this offensive line just how do you go about kind of fixing that going into next week well we'll fix it i mean um they're good kids up there and they're they're they want to do well and all those things um they they out schemed us over there. Uh, they out quicked us, and uh, you know it seemed like we were behind the twist uh, with the ball carrier, and we needed to get in front of it. And uh, they were getting penetration uh, early in the game uh, with that, and and we couldn't get the ball to the edge. We went back inside, and and it seemed like their calls they were they were twisting inside as well. It seemed like they had pretty good call for what we what we were trying to run and and we couldn't we couldn't catch up with their speed is what it looked like to me without watching the tape what you think about the McAdoo's work today in the secondary and yeah. special teams well I didn't know to be honest with you that 
uh, day that he was going to pick a pass, but I knew that he was going to play. I felt like he was going to play well from practice. He started a lot of day, you know, a couple of days in practice, uh, played a lot with the ones. Uh, but uh, he's a competitor, man. What a great pick. You know, at that point in time, the game, I'd went for it on fourth. And at that time, you know, the game didn't look – salvageable at that point a little bit and then he picked the pass and we got on a little bit of a run but also he he blocked the punch you know he's a gamer a freshman I think I think he'll have a, a great career here I, I was proud of him coach you mentioned it's up to the coaches to motivate the players did you feel like that there was a lack of motivation with the players or that they maybe didn't have the right mindset going into this game based on that it wasn't an SEC team or a power uh, five team? You know, I was worried about it because of the way we played against Missouri State. But I kept trying to tell them about, you know, getting trying to get Bo eligible, trying to um, – that, you know, this team was 23rd in the AP, that Wake Forest was 17, and, you know, they just didn't make a two-point player. They'd be undefeated. And I tried to, you know, go with all those things to motivate. Uh, I thought we had a pretty good practices up until Thursday. And our walkthrough, we had a couple of mistakes on Friday uh, walkthrough that is not typical. So I, I knew that we weren't quite as locked in as we need to be, but but uh, tried to adjust that on the bus after the pra during the practice, after the practice. But I, I was a little bit concerned about um, where we were mentally. Uh, but I, I certainly thought that we had a good game plan and that we'd come out and play hard and and play together. And we just we didn't either that or they just or that were that much better than us in the first half. I, I I would hate to think that. I would think that we just didn't we weren't playing inspired football. What was said at halftime? Was it a fire and brimstone speech or was uh, yeah, it a motivation? Or it what? was towards the coaches. And yeah, um, but the bottom line was, is that um, we need to find a way to play hard enough to win the third quarter and get back in the game. Uh, but we were making mistakes, you know, on blitzes called. We were staying outside when we were going inside on gaps and just a lot of mistakes that we made tonight both offense, defense, and special teams. Just a lot of mistakes. You know, we had a punt blocked. Um, it's not good. Yeah, uh, what did you think of their quarterback? Apparently, he had the flu this week, and then Bennett, you know, played the whole game. What did you think of him? Well, he played – I thought he did a really nice job um, running the offense. You know, obviously, their game plan was to get a lead and then – use the 42nd clock the entire game, you know, and and uh, he ran that uh, to perfection, um, made some really nice throws. Um, and I think they got enough lead at half that they kind of quit throwing the ball a lot, you know, and they were having success doing that. Uh, but I thought he played a really good game. He's a a uh, very good competitor, uh, made some yards with his feet, and I thought he did a good job. You had that one sequence where Rocket had three runs in a row, and you get it down to their 28, and it looked like the ball hit Knox's hands in the end zone. What would you think of that play and then maybe the momentum it kept you from getting? Well, you know, there were so many plays, to be honest with you, that um, could have turned the momentum a little bit, you know. Uh, that certainly was one of them. Um, but it just seemed like we were certainly out of sync, you know, for whatever reason. And maybe it's because, you know, KJ didn't throw the ball a tremendous amount this week, you know. I don't know, but we were out of rhythm. We, he, it's, he, he seemed to be out of rhythm, you know, back there. Either that or we weren't getting open because he was having a hard time finding receivers. Kind of leads into what I was going to ask. It seemed like on third down, y'all threw short of the stick several times. Do you think it was just a matter of KJ not finding guys downfield, or what do you think went into that? Well, I think so. You know, I think they were giving us those underneath throws. And, you know, I think he threw one deep early in the 
second half and the safety picked it off and he may have got a little shy of trying to throw a deep ball knowing but those guys did a heck of a job of catching and getting the sticks sticks rocket did one time as well made it a great play hazelwood and and landers made a great play to on fourth down trying to but um you know when you can't run the ball you you better be able to protect it and and get open and you know we four sacks and uh we just we were trying to go to where we could have some success and we just couldn't find it hey sam any consideration about putting malik or cade back there to spark something yeah uh i had i had uh talked to k kb about it a little bit and and uh um uh he he told me what i need to hear that kj's our guy and and he'll he'll um he'll get going here eventually and he is our guy so that was in my opinion that was the right thing to do leave him in there and he and he and he did he got us all the way down there to evidently that far you know to tie the game Sam, on that play, I saw you go like this at one point, you know, and then uh, after the ruling, what did the official say to you? I just asked him why it took so long, you know, if it, you know, he said, you know, they were waiting on a pylon camera angle, but he said that uh, from his viewpoint that he was short, you know, his knee hit before the ball got, you know, because the ball was maybe half, half yard over the goal line, you know, but he said his knee hit before, before, so. Coach, the, the average distance to go on third down on 16 attempts today was 10.1 yards. Yeah. Was, what were the struggles on, on first and second down that led to so many we, third we longs? 14 negative yards plays. So that would probably be the biggest thing. We couldn't block. We tried to run the ball, you know, like we do, or we tried to throw the ball and then try to run it on second down. But today, instead of a lot of them being incompletions, they were sacks. Or instead of it being second and six, they were second and 12, you know, because of negative yardage plays. Um, we kept trying to, like I say, to trying to move the back, trying to get some quick hitters, trying to do some things. But uh, it never really worked until the fourth quarter. What's next, Coach? I mean, Obviously, you can't let this be a defining moment of your program, losing this game. What? How do you get things back on track? And what did you say to the players in the locker room after well, the game? I just told them that, you know, I told them a lot of things, Trey. Uh, but, you know, we have LSU coming in here. So, you know, we go – our our job is to put the best best team we can out there and win ball games and – as it will be no different next week. We've got to we've got to bounce back on that, and you know, but we got to look ourselves in the mirror too, all of us. And and uh, but with LSU coming in here, we can't do anything but go out and and uh, have good practices and work hard and and see if we can't uh, get a win next week. Um. It felt like, I mean, you keep mentioning, you know, the, the TFLs and stuff, but it felt like on the running play, they were in the backfield immediately and a pass play it seemed like KJ just couldn't find anybody open and That's, they eventually got to him. Yeah, I think, I think on, uh, you're right. I, you know, I felt like I didn't think we were protected all that bad, even though, you know, we give up the four sacks. Um, I just, either he wasn't seeing the open guy or we just weren't getting open because I didn't think our protection was all that bad. I mean, he was back there for quite a while sometimes, most of the time. Uh, and on the run game, it was, it was bad. You know, it just, it was, it was bad. Some people have a theory that it's hard to get up week after week after week and your non-conference games, you got Bobby Petrino coming in here. You got Cincinnati, you got this. You think, Maybe it's just difficult to be up week after week after week, given your schedule. You know, we've lost games since I've been here, but not like this. These games we've won since I've been the head coach here. 
and I know I might get tested on that, why, why I said that, but we hadn't got bait like this. And uh, that's my responsibility. And, and um, I don't know, I don't think so. I mean, last year we went on a run and, and it was fun, you know. Every year I have found out, every year is a little bit different. You know, the kids are different, the coaches are different, it's a little bit different, but um, I, th I think it's our responsibility to have them kids ready and yes, I believe it's hard to get up, but it, that's that's why they pay us. We need to we need to get them up. Coach, just looking at the numbers too. KJ had seven passes broken up today. That seems like kind of a high number for him. Who KJ had yeah. seven passes broken up. Was that just a product of good DB play, or was he maybe just not as sharp as you wanted him to be? You know, I don't know. I you know, as I'm looking at it, obviously. Um, he didn't play as well as what he had. I'll say this, he played, he wanted to win. I mean, he was, he was busting his butt down there at the end and making plays and trying to get us to overtime. He just didn't throw the ball as well as what he normally does. Defensively, I'll shut him out in the second half. Was there a, a schematic change or just a matter of defense playing better? Or what do you think went into that? No, I don't think so. Uh, I don't, we didn't have, Barry went after him more, you know, we, we, we decided to blitz. We blitzed him. I think the first three plays of the second half, maybe here, um, we we decided to go after him and play some man-to-man -man coverage. See if we couldn't get him on the ground, uh, which the blitzes were also a combination of run blitzes. Where you know if they hand the ball off, we'd be in pretty good shape there to uh, to stop them uh, from running the football. But I think the the kids just responded. To be perfectly honest with you, they just they played pretty well you know the fourth down stop was a big stop and and uh and the pick was by McAdoo was a big stop so I think they just made plays the second half that they that we didn't in the first you keep uh talking about how it's the coach's responsibility to get the guys up for the game which I, I feel you on that but there's also an aspect too of What's holding this team back from having that leadership come from within the team? And what guys on the team do you kind of want to challenge to make sure that, yeah. you know what I'm, where I'm getting at? Yeah, um, this team is just different than last year's. I mean, it's different. Um, last year you had 19 super seniors, you know. Um, you had the Grant Morgans and, the, you know what I mean? You, it, it's just different. Um, uh Anytime that you have a lot of injuries, which we're getting our guys back, but anytime you have a lot of injuries, then you're playing some guys and then you're not playing them, you know, once the injured guys get back and this other. So it's, it's, it's a little bit difficult. And again, that's my job, but it's a little bit difficult to keep the team like this, you know, uh, and we were, we were doing a pretty good job of that. And I think we have done a pretty good job of that, but um the um i didn't play good or I, I it's on me you know what i mean like we had a whole bunch of guys that you know would say hey i got to do better and this that and other and we're continuing to kind of motivate that and get that better um it's just a different team you know than what we had last year we had all those super seniors and um it was just, it's just different. I do think that we'll bounce back. I know the, I know that the sky fell today and, and it's, but I, I, I think we can bounce back. I do. Um, we need to, uh, we've got to get bowl eligible, um, next week. And, uh, I'm sure wish we would have this week, but didn't play well enough or coach well enough. Thanks, Coach.